Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to the sweet and sassy giveaway video hop. Today I'm going to be sharing a 12 by 12 layout and I am going to be using this alpha stamp set and this is called In Stitches Alpha and this is from of course the sweet and sassy stamps online store and I'm going to be creating a very long title for my layout today using that stamp set. Now this was also a giveaway hop, so be sure to check out my description box to find out how you can enter to win a $20 gift code to the Sweet and Sassy Stamps online store. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started on my layout. And for my layout, I am going to be using some items from the Splendor Collection by My Mind's Eye. And I will go ahead and link all of the items I used today down in my description box, including that stamp set that I'm using for my title. So be sure to check it out. And I'm also going to be linking the next person on the hop down below. So there's lots of information in my description box. So right now, I am going to go ahead and choose a pattern paper for my background. And I'm also going to choose one of these pattern papers for my title. I am going to be stamping those alphas on the pattern paper and then I'm going to fussy cut out each of those alphas. So I decided to go with this pattern paper for my background. You can see it's covered in text and on top of that, I'm going to add my very long title as well, but it definitely looks good in the end and I love how it turned out. Now I am going to use this mint green pattern paper, the striped paper for my title. And you'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and use these alphas and stamp them directly on that pattern paper and then fussy cut them out. So I'm using an archival ink pad and I cannot remember the color that I used, but I will add it down below. And I'm just making sure that the stripes are going across each of these alphas. Next up, I'm going to use my small little Tim Holtz scissors and fussy cut all of these alphas out. And they were pretty simple to cut out because of the straight edges. Now these are brand new stamps, so you can see me just rubbing it on my arm just to condition them a bit so I can get a really clear image. And this is where I'll go ahead and fussy cut those alphas out. And I love the size of these alphas. I can definitely use these as well in my traveler's notebook and they would be the perfect size. And of course you can stamp directly on your layout, but I wanted to have a pattern paper as my my title. So I decided to go ahead and just stamp it on the pattern paper, fussy cut them out. So next up, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife just to cut out the centers of the letter A. And I believe the B's as well needed the center part of it to be removed. So I'm doing that right now. So here I'm gonna begin working on my photo. I wanted to make sure that my photo would stand out against that really busy scripted pattern paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and mat it first on some white cardstock. And next I'm gonna mat it on this pink pattern paper, this tone on tone paper. And you can see I left a pretty wide border around that photo using that pink paper. Now the part of that pink paper that I cut off, I flipped it over and I'm just going to add that to the right side of my photo. And there you can see I'm mounting my photo on some foam, foam adhesive. That way it can be lifted off the page a little bit and add a little bit of dimension. So you'll notice that I do not add a lot of embellishments to this layout because my title is long, it takes up a lot of the page. And also with that very busy background, I did not want to add anything too much to clutter the layout and take away from the photo, which of course is my focal point. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and arrange all of my alphas 
and figure out exactly how I want them to look and then I'll begin adhering them to my background using some liquid adhesive. Now the photo I'm documenting today is of myself and my daughter and here we're having dinner at a casual restaurant after our local Christmas tree lighting and my title describes exactly how I feel about my photo and it says the best thing about memories is making them. So here I'm going to continue adding my alphas to my background. And you can see that I also pulled in a very glittery word memories and that is, uh, I believe it's a rose gold color. Now I do mix some yellow gold together with that rose gold, but it looks absolutely beautiful. I do not have a problem mixing different shades of gold. And now I'm gonna begin embellishing the layout. So at this point, I needed something a little bit grounding to the top of this page and I needed something solid up there so I decided to go ahead and add some of this pink pattern paper to the top and begin working on a cluster to that top left corner. I also have a sliver of that pink pattern paper that I'm going to add below my title and I'm also going to tuck a piece of it into on the side on the right side as you can see right here. And next up, I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut a floral piece off that pattern paper that I have tucked in to the right side of my photo. Now I use the florals that I fussy cut out to add to the top left corner. And that brought in a little bit of that green as well to that top corner, just to balance things out a bit with the colors on this, on this layout. And next up, I'm gonna bring in some stickers as well. Now, I had just one die cut floral piece. I'm not sure how I had this piece in my stash. I must have had this pack a while ago. I cannot remember, but here I had just this one die cut floral piece. So I'm adding this to the lower right corner of my photo and you can see that I added some of that foam adhesive behind it because my photo is lifted off the page so I needed that also to be lifted off just to be at the same height as my photo. I'm also adding in those photo corners and I added three of those in because you definitely won't see the fourth one if I added it in it will be tucked under that flower so I'm just adding the three of those corners in and those are yellow gold and here I'm just taking some of these 3D uh, stickers from the Splendor collection and adding them to my cluster so you can see I have a cluster to the top left corner one very close to the word memories and I also have one on the bottom right of my photo now I am going to go ahead and try to add in a leaf from the sticker sheet where I found the word memories just to bring in some more of that glittery gold. But you can see once I added it there, it was just a bit too much. So I decided to put that back and use those little, uh, the small hearts instead. And I will add three of those next to my photo. Then I'll add one to the top left cluster and I also add one right to the edge of my title where I also added a die cut swan. So I decided to go ahead and add some brads to my layout using the dark green and I believe just two of the mint. I'm just going to tuck those into my clusters and at this point I'm liking my layout but I feel like everything is just floating on there and I needed to go ahead and map this on something solid. So I, I am going to go ahead and remove just a sliver off 
the right side of my layout as well as the bottom and you'll see me do that in just a few moments and then I'll mount it on some black cardstock which definitely made my layout pop and look completed and I absolutely love how this turned out so I hope you guys enjoyed my process today if you did be sure to leave me a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing as well. Don't forget, check out the next person on the hop down below and enter to win that $20 gift code from the Sweet and Sassy Stamps online store. So I want to thank you all for watching today and until my next video. Bye.